www.pondscape.us. So far, so good. Got a little bit more light on here now. Got the um, overhead on. And we can better see the black hose and the nice little trickle flow. Get a better angle. And that is hot water coming out of the heater. And we've been monitoring it for about the last two hours. And um, it's raised the um, temperature in this area of the pond from 66 to 68, and it's 2 degrees. So it's um, so far so good. And of course the, the fish are very much taking notice of that. And more and more of them are starting to hang around in this area because they, they love the warmer water, obviously. By tomorrow morning, we should be at at least 70. <laughs> at least. 70 something, more likely. So it'll be pretty interesting. Here's our guppies. We got some sword tails. So they are definitely enjoying the benefit of this heater we put in. Uh, we are going to be running the lines and everything uh, quite a bit better than it is now. But for now, this is good enough. We're just in the testing phases and making sure that. Uh, Everything's going to do what we're wanting it to do. And then what we're probably going to do is um, this black hose here. Probably going to have it coming down that waterfall there. So um, it's black, so it'll camouflage. So that'll be out of sight of the mine. Um, we're going to put a secondary valve on there, shut off. And... Um, um, it's hard, it's oh, damn near impossible to see, but um, see where the, the white stops here? Then it almost looks like there's no pipe as if it's going into the directly into the space-time continuum and wormholing out over here. That's because that's a clear tube. It's an observation tube so that we can, um, you know, visually keep track of our flow because, you know, this is on a trickle. We don't have it, like, you know, full blast. We can't. It's only like a 15-gallon tank or something in the in the heater, and we don't want the heat to like run out right away. It would kind of defeat the idea. So, um, what we're also going to be doing is, um, seeing as this part of the pond from like maybe here to there is going to be the warmest, because this is where the heat is going in. Um, we're going to have a pump, and there's going to be a, a T line in it as far as the uh, distribution. One. T line is going to go to another T where it goes back into the um, into the tank, so that we are maintaining our heat better by taking warm water and adding it to the hot water, so that it can heat up faster and it's it's not going to be taking quite so long. Um, the other T line is going to you know go over to our little uh, keeper of the pond over here, because he's technically a waterfall. He's he's going to be anyway. And you're going to have the, the hot water, you know, coming out of there. And then it's going to tee off again to the back here, but you can't see it because it's night, <laughs> um, to the upper part of the pond where the little, you know, the little pisser, um, we call him the pisser, this guy here, he's going to be shooting off that water, and it's going to, you know, waterfall down there and all the way back into here so we're gonna have a, a pretty even um, heat distribution so it's gonna be pretty sweet and that's all gonna be this summer keep you updated of course so yep, www.pondscape.us